In the beginning, there was nothing. Then there were the dinosaurs. Then came fire and man. After that came Thomas Jefferson and Louisiana Territory. What? This is the story of Louisiana Purchased in Plain English by Leah, Dan, Mallory, and Taylor. In the early 1800s, France occupied the Louisiana Territory on the other side of the Mississippi River. Belgian farmers relied on the port city of New Orleans to ship out their crops. It was pretty much their only way to get them to Europe and the East Coast. This also belonged to France. Napoleon Bonaparte was planning on moving French farmers there. We didn't like the thought of that. That was some good fertile land. So we offered to buy New Orleans from him for $7.5 million. But he offered us the whole territory for $15 million. So Jefferson had a choice. He could listen to some who thought it was a waste to buy it. And it would be hard to control the vast area and say, no deal, this doesn't go by the Constitution. And miss this historic opportunity. Or he could say yes. And he did, for about three cents per acre. What a steal, Super Saver. In 1804, Lewis and Clark were sent by Thomas Jefferson to explore the vast area we know as the Louisiana Territory. They packed up their belongings and headed west. Some of the motives were to make friendly contact with the Indians and find the Northwest Passage. Another motive was to find out what was in the land they just bought. One hardship they faced were the mosquitoes that feasted on their faces. Gross, right? Sacagawea was Lewis and Clark's translator and travel guide. She helped talk to Indians for Lewis and Clark and also saved priceless journals and papers after it fell into a river. During the trip over the Rockies, they used up all of their food. They were hungry and tired. When Lewis and Clark's group got to the other side, Sacagawea found the nearest Indian tribe to help them. When she met up with the chief of the Shoshone, she realized that it was her brother. The Shoshone took care of Lewis and Clark and gave them horses and food. After leaving the tribe, they made their way to the Pacific Ocean. On a tree by the ocean, Clark carved some words into it. The words said, William Clark, December 3rd, 1805, by land from the U States. In September 1806, Two years and four months after setting out, Lewis and Clark returned to St. Louis. After all that traveling, they had covered 8,000 miles. They had discovered 60 new species of plants and animals. Lewis and Clark had mapped a route to the Pacific and established good relations with the Indians there. They also brought back priceless information about the West and its people. Manifest Destiny relates to the Louisiana Purchase because the U.S. was expanding and gaining territory that is obviously ours. Lewis and Clark's journey relates to Manifest Destiny because they helped our country expand, and now we know what's out there. And our these are our sources.